The paedophile hunter groups at war with each other. Why well, have you got a mask on? Do I know you? Do I know you? The story behind one of the hunters, a survivor's search for justice. Do you know when you're at Guildford Station and your ring saying there's a paedophile that's come to meet a child? They don't turn up like this. They don't turn up like this at all. What's all this about? What is all this? Hello and welcome to the programme, which this week comes to you from the banks of the River Medway in Maidstone. First tonight, paedophile hunting has become a well-known and controversial phenomenon in recent years. But are the hunters now turning on each other? Some viewers may find parts of this report disturbing. It's the 28th of March 2015 at London Bridge Station. Geoffrey Lewis from Kent is expecting to meet 14-year-old girls for sex. Instead, he's about to meet the online paedophile hunter Shane Brannigan. You're going to meet a 14 year old girl for sex, aren't you? Yes, you are. You're from the Swansea, come on, you? Yeah, listen, it's all right. Shane is a self employed builder from Surrey, but so far he feels life hasn't given him an easy ride. Look at me, I'm 40 year old. Look at the wrinkles, look at the worn face. Is this not a face of a man that's fought battles and wars? Oh, it's not the face of a man that's had happy time, is it? With no struggling. We live in hope for a better day, a better tomorrow. Shane was one of the first online paedophile hunters and many of his stings have resulted in convictions. But they don't always go to plan. In this recent one, the suspect in the van realises what's going on and nearly runs Shane over. What's that number plate? But what made Shane get involved in the first place? Well, he was abused himself when he was a child. He's waived his legal right to anonymity to tell us his story. Shane admits that what happened to him has turned him into a troubled individual. He felt a lot of shame about what happened to him. And now he wants to do what he can to stop it happening to anybody else. This is why I do what I do. This is why I am like I am. You know, all the time I don't admit to it, or I didn't admit to it, he was winning. You know, it's going to win now, though, don't you? There are many people like Shane all around the country. They pretend to be children online, and when paedophiles make contact, they arrange to meet them and film the results, often streaming them live. But Shane is about to reveal to us that all is not well in the world of the paedophile hunters. The number of vigilante paedophile hunter groups has exploded in recent years. One of the most dominant groups in the field call themselves the Internet Interceptors. They're led by Sarah Doherty. She became sort of like the one to be respected, the one not to question. Um, you know, she was the godmother, I suppose. But given the reputation of internet interceptors, Shane was surprised when he watched Sarah do one of their stings live on Facebook. I had a, uh, an alert on my phone saying that internet interceptors were doing a sting. Um, I, I put the sting on. Welcome to Nonce Bingo. We are paedophile hunters called internet interceptors and you're the first one to play live bingo. This team then proceeded to pull out bingo cards? Sarah has a list of typical excuses and is ticking them off one by one. Anything else? Uh, it was just chat. It was a what? It was just chat. It was just chat, yep, yeah, okay, yeah. good. I love that one, absolutely love that one. It was just chat. Next was, one? I found it disgusting. The offender even said, what do I get if I win? Do I win a prize then? Yeah. Yep. Prison sentence and yeah. sex offenders register. That's what you're going to win. 
No, 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 no. I started this because of what happened to me. How did they turn something that was morally right and justifiable into an entertainment show? What would it be next? Spin the bottle? Twister? We contacted Sarah Doherty of Internet Interceptors, but she declined to comment. Detective Chief Inspector Lee Whitehead is the head of the paedophile online investigation team at Kent Police. He wants all paedophile hunters to stop what they're doing. We don't want people to do that work. Um, we completely understand that everyone has got a duty to look after children, whether that's police, teachers, parents, members of the public. And we do understand the reasons behind some of these groups, but their methods are simply sometimes unlawful, um, but mainly cause great disruption to our business and can on occasion interfere with investigations we've already got running. Shane publicly criticised the behaviour of internet interceptors online. In return, he received angry messages and threats from the general hunter community. But this was just a part of a whirlwind of acrimony and animosity that seems to have enveloped the paedophile hunter world, as we'll find out later. Today is a special day for Shane in his own personal story. No, I'll go and stop the traffic in a minute. He's outside a court in Guildford. Inside is the man who Shane says abused him when he was a child, Geoffrey Horn from Sittingbourne in Kent. How long have you been waiting for this moment, Shane? Didn't think this moment. I, I didn't think this moment was ever going to come, to be honest. I've never, I've never seen this coming, and I didn't ever think it was going to happen. Geoffrey Horn is facing 22 charges of child sexual abuse of a number of alleged victims. Shane is one of them. He says the abuse had a catastrophic effect on his life. As Shane was growing up, he went off the rails and got into trouble with the authorities. I was already known to, to be violent to police. Um, you know, I was known across Surrey to be a bit of a handful. Uh, it's still on record now that I'm a danger to police. Shane says his situation was made worse because he felt his allegations weren't properly investigated at first. But then one day, he came into contact with Detective Sergeant Nicky Gardner of Surrey Police. I had a phone call, this Christmas Day, I had my little girl with me, Christmas Day, about up past seven in the morning, couldn't believe it. And it was this, this copper, this detective, she was saying that CPS wanted me to be, uh, wanted me nicked and questioned about my um, violent conduct or public disorder um, on a sting at Woking train station. Shane explained that the reason for his behaviour was the unresolved trauma of his childhood abuse. On hearing this, DS Gardner agreed to re-examine his allegations against Geoffrey Horn. God bless her. God, God bless her heart. She said to me, she said, Shane, I'm going to find out why this never happened and why this, why this never um, materialised into anything. She said, I promise you. And I, and, and I said to her, don't promise me anything. Don't promise me anything that you ain't going to deliver. At the University of Sussex, Dr Christy Hickel is a specialist in trauma resulting from childhood sexual abuse. She says victims can grow up feeling unsafe and don't know who to trust. And it would be quite normal for people to respond a, a deep, with a deep mistrust for authority, for family, friends, even romantic partners, and to respond in perhaps a really aggressive, violent, angry way. A 20-month investigation into Geoffrey Horn followed that Christmas Day phone call. As a result, several other alleged victims came forward to DS Gardner and the case went to trial. The man that Shane accused of abuse pleaded not guilty. A group of interested parties have gathered outside the court and Shane's anger is rising. Even to this day, uh, a police car in a uniform trigger me. You know, they, they trigger me into a rage and, 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 I, and I struggle to contain myself. Don't come near me, mate. The worst thing you can do is come near me, Shabby. 
I'm telling you now. Yeah. Alright fella. Sorry. Any particular reason you pulled up waiting for us or Oh, we're just waiting for a paedophile to come out of coal. Okay. Is that alright? Yeah, we've been called in relation to it, yeah. Oh, have you? What for? I, I don't know. Yeah, What's the relation to it? What? what in yeah, relation to what? Minute, I'll come and talk to you when I'm ready, alright? Right. Have we caused any breach of the peace? Well, the moment, oh, yeah. No, I'm not. Perfect, all right, how about this then, mate, right? In 1992, oh, I was raped by a man who I wasn't listened to by Hold your on. colleagues. Do you understand me? I'm a product of your colleagues. Calm down. No, I will not calm down. What, what, Get away from me. You mongrels. What's all this about? What is all this about? Just come over here and talk to me. Get off me, mate. I'm not going to touch you. Just come over here and talk to me. Get off me. Do you know when you're at Guildford Station and you're ringing saying there's a paedophile that's come to meet a child? They don't turn up like this. They don't turn up like this at all. Keep an eye on that defence lawyer. Away from the court case, tensions between Shane and the internet interceptors intensify rapidly. He says that they trolled him incessantly. We asked internet interceptors to comment on the acrimony and the trolling, but they declined to give us an interview or a statement. DCI Lee Whitehead of Kent Police closely monitors paedophile hunting groups. He confirms that many leading groups are now at war with each other. It's very acrimonious. I don't really understand why they have fallen out with each other, but they are seriously stalking each other and trolling each other on the internet. There's good and bad in every movement, but um, the police are, have not lied and said, we're causing more trouble than we are good. They're saying a few of us or a few teams are doing very good work. Um, and from that come convictions, you know, there's, there's a great rapport, there's good liaison, but unfortunately at the moment it's every man for himself, you know. A group calling itself Team Impact has turned up on Shane's doorstep to confront him the only way they know how, using a sting as a weapon. Is this a sting? Yeah, it is. I've come to sting the godfather of hunting. Shane, oh! It came to life, they were going to sting me like a pet, like the lot they sting a paedophile. So, following a friend of mine, went round the corner and there they were. Oh, what are you doing? And, quite rightly, I lost the plot. I, I went crazy. Um, it's been incidents where they've gone to each other's addresses and there's been violence involved as well. What do you want? What do you want? Do I know you? Do I know you? Whoa, whoa, whoa! All of those things create more work for the police. Can you get rid of these, please, fella? When the police arrive, they make six arrests. Those arrested are released pending investigation. Get off! Back in court, the jury has finally come to a decision. Shane has been waiting 25 years for this moment. He phones DS Gardner to find out the verdict. Hey, Shane. Hello, Nicky. He's been found guilty of, um, I think so far it's going to be 12 out of 22 counts. Um, a lot of those are multiple ones, so there'll be um, sexual offences against a child under 16 and uh, under 13 and various other things. I, I know, did it for the others. Have, what you have shown and what we have shown is your evidence, along with all the others' evidence, shows that he is and was a predatory paedophile. Yeah, it's all right. I've got closure now. I, I know that I can. I haven't got this hanging on anymore. Shane feels the online paedophile hunting community is no longer achieving what it set out to do. So he's moving on. With the trial over and justice served, he can begin to put his demons to rest. He hopes to heal and overcome his anger and I'll smile a lot and I won't have to growl and I won't, you know, I won't have to talk with a harsh tone or sound like I'm almost shouting. I'm hoping to be a bit more delicate, mainly because I'll be healed. That broken heart won't be no more. I'm looking forward to meeting Shano. He's been out there, you know. He's been out there a lot of years, a lot of years. Just can never come back. But he will. He'll come back, I know he will.